Welcome to the world of metal detecting where you never know what you might find. Let's start things off with getting diggy with it. Hey guys. I'm just guys. We're in the water today. But I'm pretty sure I've got a nice large silver coin. Oh, what is that? What is it? It's a walker. Nice. Hey babe. It's a walker. Nice. Oh, it's black. It's black. It's got crusties on it too. You see a date? 36. 1936. Ooh, that's gonna clean up nice. Right now it's black because it's been in the water. What a cool find. Oh, I found that little honey hole. So my coil right there where I found that walking uh, Liberty half. <laughs> Got a second one right there. Found a little honey hole. There's the first one. Here's the second one. Let's see if it's got the same date. 1917. Man, look at that. That's beautiful. What a beautiful coin. Yes, two beautiful silver coins right in the same spot. Awesome. You know, cancer sucks. And after a long, hard fought battle, he's back. And I couldn't be happier. Let's go visit with metal detecting and fishing with Romy. It's been a long time. It's probably been about two years since I've been out metal detecting with you guys. I've been doing pretty much intensive chemotherapy for the last two years radiation and uh, two bone marrow transplants. But I'm here to say I'm finally cancer free. After a 10 or 11 year battle with uh, stage four multiple cancers, I had, I had uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma and I had T-cell cancer. Well, it wasn't an easy battle, but uh, I'm here. All right, do you guys see what I see? Holy crap. Oh, I think it's a grill. It's a grill. Holy crap. Check that out. Let me rinse it off. Yeah, I got my very first freaking grill. Oh, that's sweet. It's like, uh, it's like my fifth or sixth target. Oh, that's sweet. It's definitely gold, it's not very heavy. A couple grams, two, three grams. I don't see any markings or anything, but that's definitely gold. All right, sweet. I just love it when you get on the type of sites where you get a variety of items, including the bangers. Watch this. I hit it. Ah, oh, dang. Pretty sure that's a collar disc. Ah, oh, man. Dang it. Nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. That is amazing. Check it out. I have no idea. Looks thin. I think so. Oh my lord. What is that? Is that a Carlos? Oh my lord. <laughs> Persistence pays off, keep at it, and you can find items just like this. Let's go visit with Ron Swenson. I just popped out this silver coin, and it looks to be about the size of a quarter, um, and it looks old. I'm not sure if it's a quarter or if it's a Spanish silver, but we're going to figure out what it is. Oh, okay, there we go. It's a barber quarter. That's an interesting surprise. Let's see what date we've got. 1900 
That's cool. I was thinking it was going to be older, but I will certainly take that because I don't think I've ever dug one of these. And then uh, this just popped out, which is pretty cool. It's an old, uh, old padlock. Don't know if it'll still have the, uh, the cover on there or not, but uh, I'll take that home. Yeah. Uh-huh. See it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's got to be what it is. It's got to be, dude. It's clean, too. Pretty smooth. Flip it over. Oh man. Oh, it's a box plate. Box plate. Sweet. Dude, it's all there. Awesome. <gasps> oh, dude. Nice. It's my US. US. That's a beauty. There it is. Oh. Totally man. unexpected. Nice. Congratulations. Holy cow, dude. My first one since I moved here. Congratulations, Thanks. that's awesome. <laughs> Unexpected as can be. You know, we're always on the lookout for things that are incredibly old. And when you can find pieces of Native American trade items, it's very special. Check it out this week from Ancient Adventures, as she did exactly that. awesome Native American trade ring. I remember the day I dug this and I don't think I seen that yellow piece on there. I thought it was just a piece of a buckle or something and I didn't film it. And boy do I regret that because when I wash it off at home I realize holy crap that's an actual ring. That is an actual Native American trade ring. I think I'm going to have a jeweler actually put it back the way it's supposed to be. Because I've never seen one posted like this and frankly it's one of my favorite relics to find is Native American trade jewelry. Makes you wonder how they made that. Imagine the person standing there making that. Hey I featured him early and Romy built himself a machine. How would you like to see this making its way across the beach? Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Goldzilla. And I call it Goldzilla. Check it out. This is what I call Goldzilla. <laughs> this is my new metal detector I built. It's got a giant 20 by 40 coil on it. And we have a small um, pinpointing co uh, coil hooked up to a shaft on a switch box and I just push this down the beach until I locate something with this and then I find it with that but I've located a target here I've already dug it out of the hole I got my pin pointer and it's loud as ever so let's see what it is it's still in there oh it's a bobby pin my first target's a bobby pin this will be target number two Uh, we plugged this in uh, manually and took off the large coil once we found the, lar the target. And my machine told me that it was iron because it uh, it went silent over the target. But I wanted to dig it up anyways and see what we had. We had a butter knife. And look, it was probably, well, that was a foot deep. So it's performing. It's working great. We got great depth. Uh, the target sound off wonderfully. The large coil drags across the sand wonderfully. So. The test phase seems to be testing out really good. Hey, be sure to go check out Romy's channel as he's recently figured out he can pull Goldzilla with an e-bike. Go check him out. Next up, one of the most sought after buttons in all of metal detecting. And don't tread on me metal detecting, found one. Old nine yards. Come on. Where's that funky chicken? Remember what I was saying about that last button looking for the funky chicken? Well, I brushed it up a little bit. I just th I thought it was slick. <laughs> yeah. 
Say hello to the funky chicken. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe it. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back. I'm I'm not gonna. I'm I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna give this a whole another day. That's what we found. This the other button was smaller. It's got nothing on it. But that, my friends, is a George Washington inaugural button, and I am absolutely loving it. What a great way. You know, I haven't been out in weeks, and to be able to get out and come back with this, phenomenal. This father and son team are on fire in the snow and on the silvers. Amazing bucket list items from Mason Merck Metal Detecting. Huh. Put it on the rock right here, this rock. I'm scared. Scared? Holy cow, look at the size of that thing. What is I that? I think it's a barber half. Oh, it's look. a barber half. Holy cow, it is. It's a barber, a barber half. half. <laughs> we did it again. Dude, we're what? killing it. <laughs> Just happened. Mason's yelling down the beach. Oh, we got the... We got the floss boss going. He's flossing. He's got something good. I don't know. I don't know what this could be. What do you got, kid? A Benjamin Franklin half dollar. Are you kidding me, man? We are slamming bucket listers. Look at the hole. That a... Oh my god. Wow, that thing is smoked. Oh, we have never yes. been. Wow, that's nice. Oh wow, it's actually super nice. It's a nice one. Old. Too. 1952. Benjamin Wait, Franklin, is it, two does it got a, <laughs> Look at this thing. Does it got a mint mark? <laughs> Benjamin Franklin half, finally. Dude, two half dollars in one day, a barber and a Benny. Woohoo! Right here. <laughs> There's Mason running down the beach. His dad just yelled silver again. All right. I'm going to coin drop it in Mason's hand. Silver Washington. It looks like a 1941. It's always exciting when you find something you've never found before. Let's head over the pond with Digger Don. Please, please, don't, don't be a rivet. Don't be a rivet. Don't be a rivet. Don't be a... Don't be a rivet. Don't be a rivet. Horse George the third. Oh, no, no, he saved, he saved a bear. He's George the fourth. Oh my goodness, look at that. You don't see him very often. Oh, my heart's beating. George the fourth in the old Chris. <laughs> oh, George the fourth shilling. I don't even think I've ever dug one of them up before. Oh, I'm well chuffed. Look at that sunbathing on top. God, anybody would have found that. Well, anybody with lucky boots on that is. Absolutely buzzing. I'm chuffed to bits with that. George the Fourth. Don't see him very often, you see. Now, he wasn't king for very long, and he, he was George the Third's son. Um, and he was Prince Regent for ages, while George the Third was a bit numb. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, but I don't think he was very popular. But I don't, he was only king for, I think, for, I, I don't know, when uh, William took over, but it, it must have been less than 10 years. So you don't see them very often, and I don't think I've ever dug. A shilling before. Uh okay, for more amazing finds from around the metal detecting world, you're going to want to join me here every Sunday. Push that subscribe button because you won't want to miss a thing. And don't forget to tell a friend. We'll see you next Sunday.